Hello and welcome. It's Anastasia Grace here, behavioral specialist, relationship expert, master coach, NLP practitioner, hypnotherapist. I work with singles, uh, couples, in uh, helping them to build more connection, more intimacy, more love, more love for themselves, more love in uh, their families, in their connections, and also releasing and healing uh, trauma and wounding from the past that we often carry and that, that stands in the way of those beautiful uh, connections that we can all create and we can all have in this life. This video is about creating an agreement in your couple. Again, if you haven't done it before, it's a great exercise and a very valuable tool to establish that new level of trust, new level of connection and intimacy in your couple. And it can be done at any stage of your relationship, no matter how uh, long you've been together. If you only started uh, your partnership or you've been together for 20 years, it does not matter. This exercise will give you that beautiful space of safety and ability to rely on your partner, connect to your partner and uh, create your own cocoon of uh, love. This method was described by Stan Tutkin in his book Wired for Love. When I have discovered it, it completely changed my relationship. What is, uh, what are the agreements? Well, first of all, when a couple is created, we create a third entity, we create a third enterprise, like a third being. And that being needs certain rule and certain agreements in order to keep it all in place. Like any other structure, it needs certain agreements. And Stan Tatkin calls it a couple bubble, like this cocoon of two people being in a couple bubble, meaning that every other party to the couple becomes a third party whether it's money situation for business kids parents friends relationships any kind of uh, say problem when a couple deals with let's let's say a uh, drinking problem or or gambling or um, any kind of disruptive um, patterns couple bubble is together versus them versus it and they always uh, uh, making sure that they're on the same side that uh, avoids that helps to avoid situation where one parent teams up with a child or say uh, one parent teams up with another family member like mom or dad how many situations do you know where um a, say wife would rather confine in her sister or her mother rather than share uh, share herself with her partner with her husband so this rule and adoption of couple bubble agreements will help to avoid it and bring uh, the couple together let me give you examples of uh, a couple of uh, bubble agreements for example we come first I will never frighten you purposely. If, if you are hurting, if you are in distress, I will heal it. Even I will relieve you. I will heal it. I will or attempt to heal it. I will do everything in my power, in my best, uh, in, in like best efforts to heal it. Even if I am the one who caused it, I will not frighten you purposely. Um, I will not leave you. Our relationship is more important than my desire to be right or righteous or appearance or what other people think or what any any other competing value. So it's always this bubble of safety and trust. 
you can write out any kind of uh, agreements you can create list as long or as short that you would like for example in my couple we have few items apart from this um, like we recreate ourselves each other in the best in the best way so if i start seeing him um you know too controlling i can recreate him in my mind as caring or if i start getting agitating with his say uh sloppiness or lack of attention i can recreate him in my mind as being um wonderful and helpful and caring and into the positive way basically re uh, create changing the perception of the person because it's perception is with you it's not with them a person could be absolutely perfect and ideal and do everything right and you can still find so many wrong things with them it's with you it's in your mind so any perception that you see outside uh, of yourself and yourself too it's all created by your own filters by, by your own thoughts by your own expectations by your own demands and sometimes uh, for a woman it could be you know certain hormonal disbalances or she feels tired and then all of a sudden the whole world seems to be dark and gloomy so you can change that and and shift it, uh, this perception we oh, one of our agreements is to forgive the past and let it be in the past and never mention the past again and we are committed to living in the present moment and only move forwards from here and don't drag the past with us because why would you if you are choosing this person to to stay with them to be with them and continue journey together as a partnership as a marriage as the one that you will cherish and you will hold and you will love and, and worship why would you drag whatever has been whatever has happened even yesterday or a year or six years ago it does not matter it, it's already ended that if we are not the same people we were um, even yesterday we are constantly changing we're constantly renewing ourselves and we can recreate ourselves every single day um, what else we have in our couple bubble the frame is that whatever I do or say I have your best interest in mind uh, or the best interest in my in of our relationship or our partnership or a couple that holds that frame of safety and that I will never do anything like vicious or uh, terrible or won't say anything of course I'm prone to mistakes of course uh, you know a, a shadow part of me can show up however the the framework the baseline the foundation of the of the relationship is that i have your best interest in mind and really uh, in relationship the, the the health and well-being of our relationship you can in your agreement you can write down your little rituals that will hold that in place for example and stan stan can describe it in one of I think in this book or one of these books as well uh, rituals how you go to sleep say saying good night to each other or saying or how you welcome your partner when they come home uh, coming out and actually giving a hug and acknowledging them uh, thanking them so all those little rituals they strengthen the relationship they strengthen the connection they strengthen the intimacy and they are very important because they, they are, those are the ones that um, you know get lost in the busyness of life As my first marriage had ended after 15 years and for the past couple of years I have complained and I've said it many times is we don't even look at each other anymore we don't look into that each other's eyes can you imagine living with someone uh, you know 365 days a year I don't even look into their eyes that's that's very very disconnecting that's very very difficult to be with so of course that relationship will not survive the long term and it didn't 
So in this couple bubble agreements, you devote yourself to your partner's safety and security. This is your home. This is your safe place. Uh, the, the world is, you know, it's, it's, it's complicated enough. It's uh, sometimes hostile, sometimes unpredictable. So create a place where every, at least few elements are predictable, are safe and are um, okay. Uh, one of the rules as well is don't pop the bubble. It means that you both are in agreement to keep the bubble alive, to keep this uh, this this life being, keep giving it energy and keep following the agreements. Maintain it, honor it, uh, have it as first in your priority list. The relationship will survive and will live a long term and will thrive and flourish if it is a priority. If it's not, if it's like number five or 10 or 20 on your list, it, how, how uh, likely it's it's survive just ask yourself that so yes a schedule the time spend uh, an hour talking discussing allow your partner to speak to share freely what would they like to put there uh, try not to take defensively everything that your partner will say and state uh, it, it stated in positive way state those elements or agreements in the positive manner even if uh, they will be burst out of a little bit of upset or discontent or resentment uh, reframe it and state it in a positive be patient be open be forgiving and put those in place thanks for watching it's anastasia grace here